Advocates say the hardships created by the COVID-19 pandemic are disproportionately affecting Canadians with disabilities. They also say the government has largely failed to address these problems. Joining me now is David Lepofsky, an advocate for the rights of people with disabilities. David, thanks for being on the show this morning. Good morning. You say there are three major challenges Canadians with disabilities are facing right now. You call them the big three. What are they? First, people with disabilities numbering upwards of 6 million in Canada are disproportionately likely to get this disease. Second, they are disproportionately likely to suffer the physical consequences or the harshest consequences of this disease. And thirdly, because of the barriers that we're facing and the lack of government planning to ensure our urgent needs are met, they're going to face added hardships arising out of the social isolation and when they land into the health care system having to deal with this disease. I want to ask you specifically about some of the changes that have happened since this pandemic started outside of hospitals. You've said some of the major shifts we've seen across the country, things like moving schooling online, has gone ahead without much consideration of accessibility for people with disabilities. Uh, what do you say well, to that? I'll give you a, a I'll give you an example. In Ontario, when they announced this move, which is an important move to uh, learning online, they announced no plans and, from what we understand, gave no detailed guidance to school boards who are left to flounder and reinvent the wheel when they figure out what to do. And there are, there are some platforms like Zoom that are more accessible, for example, to people like me who can't see. But the, some of the school boards are, are telling their staff, uh, don't use it. Use another platform, and some of those other platforms aren't accessible or are less accessible. So, so David, it's a double you, whammy. Yeah, it sounds like it. What would you like to see then? Well, what we need our governments to do is to take the kind of concrete, practical actions that can be implemented in a crisis to ensure that people with disabilities urgent needs are met. Three days ago on Tuesday, we held a virtual online grassroots public forum where we brought experts together to offer concrete ideas. It's available for anyone in Canada to see on YouTube. Uh, the link will be on your website, but if, if, you, if you go to aodaalliance.org, it's right there in our What's New page. Uh, you will find out that there are practical things to be done. Our provincial government is line, at least the, in Ontario, the line ministries responsible for this, or the premier's office, aren't even calling us to follow up or talk to us about some of the key actions we need. So you need some more communication. We will be posting that link on our website as well. David, thank you for your time. We really do appreciate it this morning. Thanks so much.